Good evening! I just finished reading Invisible Women, Data Bias in a World Designed for Men by Caroline Criado Perez. This is a nonfiction book that I was turned on to by somebody I follow on YouTube. She was reading this book last month as part of a challenge she was doing and she just started spouting off about statistics that this book had and I thought just the little bit of time that she talked about it that it was fascinating. Let me see if my library has this and I put that on hold. I finished it today and here's what I'm going to tell you. The statistics in this and the research that Perez did, she also reads the audiobook FYI, is profound. There were so many things that I didn't think about and that I don't think about, which is surprising considering I'm a woman and that type of data bias affects me. My mind was freaking blown. An example of something that she talks about is unpaid labor. More often than not, it's women that do the unpaid labor, i.e. child caring, taking care of the elderly, stuff like that. And as a new mom that like hit really hard home not that my husband doesn't help but I also I work full-time there is laundry and cooking dinner and you know cleaning the house and yes we have a fairly even playing field in my house I don't do it all we share a lot of the responsibility which is why he's my husband and not some other fool <laughs> because women do a lot of that there's statistics on let's say the average work day is eight hours and they say that people shouldn't work more than 50 hours a week because it affects their mental health well, that includes unpaid labor at the house so if women are disproportionately handling all of the unpaid labor at the house basically what it trickles down to meaning is that the data that's used in mental health standards uh, in clinical trials, it's as if women aren't half the population. We're half the population. There's just so much really interesting stuff in here. I would say if you are not open to that type of research and to changing your perspective, this is more feminist leaning, which is fine because I totally identify as a feminist, then you probably should read this book. Perez does such a nice job with her research in this. And I think that the points that she makes, they're backed up with validity. I think that a lot of people will get a lot of good from reading this book. I'm going to give it a four out of five because there are parts that were really, really dry. Entertainment factor. It's a nonfiction book. I don't necessarily know unless my mind is blown regularly that I ever give five star ratings to nonfiction books. The four out of five for me, I definitely recommend. I believe it even won last year's Goodreads award, maybe, or was close. It was like a runner up. I hope you guys have a kick-ass night.